Spaceship One was the first privately built, crewed, reusable suborbital spacecraft to reach space. Developed by Scaled Composites under the leadership of aerospace designer Bert Rutan and financed by Microsoft co-founder Paul Allen, Spaceship One represented a major milestone in the history of spaceflight, demonstrating that commercial enterprises could achieve what once required national space agencies. The idea began forming in the mid-1990s, with full-time development starting around 2001. The project, known as Tier 1, consisted of the Spaceship One spaceplane, the White Knight carrier aircraft, and a hybrid rocket propulsion system. The total development cost was approximately $25 million. The goal was to win the $10 million Ansari X Prize, awarded to the first private team to fly a reusable crewed spacecraft to an altitude of 100 kilometers, 62 miles, twice within two weeks. White Knight, a twin jet aircraft, carried Spaceship One to about 14 kilometers, 47,000 feet, where it was released for rocket-powered ascent. The hybrid motor burned liquid nitrous oxide and solid rubber fuel, producing 88 kilonewtons, 20,000 pounds of force of thrust for roughly 87 seconds. After the burn, the spacecraft coasted ballistically beyond the boundary of space before re-entering Earth's atmosphere. A defining feature of Spaceship One was its feathering re-entry system. The rear wing sections could hinge upward 70 degrees, dramatically increasing drag and ensuring a stable, shuttlecock-like descent. After slowing, the pilot reconfigured the wings for gliding and landed the craft horizontally on a runway. On June 21, 2004, with pilot Mike Melville at the controls, Spaceship One became the first privately funded spacecraft to cross the Kármán line, reaching 100.12 kilometers. It went on to complete two qualifying X-Prize flights on September 29 and October 4, 2004. The second flight, piloted by Brian Binney, reached a record altitude of 112 kilometers, 367,500 feet. Both pilots earned commercial astronaut status from the Federal Aviation Administration. After its success, Spaceship One was retired and now hangs in the Smithsonian National Air and Space Museum as a symbol of private innovation. Its technology evolved into Spaceship Two, developed for Virgin Galactic's suborbital space tourism program. Spaceship One proved that private industry could reach space safely, paving the way for the modern era of commercial spaceflight.